Hey y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. Got a little bit of an adventure for you today. The Gulf Coast gal pal and I are up north, close by Jackson in Brandon, Mississippi. We are headed to a concert tonight, so I figured I'd take you all along. We are going to the Brandon Amphitheater and we're staying at the cutest little Airbnb called The Cottage. I'll be sure to drop a link to all of their information down below so you can book a stay here. But I wanted to show you what the space looks like, um, take you along for dinner, show you the amphitheater, and just to have a great grand old time. So let's go. All right. So stepping into the cottage, it's in back of their house. So it's a detached, um, booking detached stay <laughs> and it's super spacious. This place is huge. Um, an awesome couch. You can play like games here with a family or what have you. Some additional chairs. You can see all of our luggage, this huge kitchen with all kinds of goodies and stuff super sweet um full sink microwave fridge it is loaded down and i am loving all of the decor in here it's gonna be monica and steven they are so sweet super communicative too they followed up with me a couple of times as our booking was approaching and they're just the sweetest that's adorable this huge built-in <laughs> gulf coast gal pal is obsessed with it I am as well. I also love all of the Mississippi touches. I'll show you. There's one right here. And then there's one in the bathroom. I love this bathroom. I love, like I said, all of the like country chic decor going on. Washer dryer. These gorgeous sinks. Huge shower. Toilet. Just... And then I'll have to show you the bedroom space with these gorgeous, like, stained glass doors. Big reveal. Gulf Coast Gal Pal. <laughs> Welcome to my crib for the night. Like, huge, country chic little bedroom. I love it so much. <laughs> Look at the burbs. Yeah. Tons of storage. You could stay here a couple of nights and feel totally comfortable. There's also a bar um, area over here. And I love the step ups and step downs. There's also a bar area here for like breakfast or dinner. And then I love when Airbnbs have this. They have um, menus and all kinds of other food suggestions to make it super convenient for you and kind of give you a little bit of a taste of some of the local restaurants and things available. So Brandon's going to be about a three hour drive, two hours and 45 minutes north of the coast. Not bad at all. Like I said, right outside of Jackson, um, we were able to cruise here in no time at all. The cottage is actually about 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes um, away from our venue for the evening. So I think we're going to relax a little. We just got here. We had to show you the place first. We're going to relax a little, change, and then get prepped and maybe find some dinner and then go to the show. We're going to go see Train and I am so jazzed. Like I said, I haven't been to this venue before. It's all outdoor amphitheater as they are and um, it's going to make for a great night. All right, we have changed. I've got my 90s attire on. We are ready and we are headed to dinner. We are on the main drag of Brandon, Mississippi and we are headed to Jenna Benna's. I was like, is it Gina Benna's? Because <laughs> Gal Pal was like, it's Jenna Benna's, which is kind of fun to say, which maybe also was the reason why it won out. There's also a pizza place um, called The Cleaners by Pizza Shack, which was kind of fun, but I'm gonna show you all the outside and then we're gonna go in. They had a wide variety of options and it's just, we're, I'm so glad we're here. It's the cutest little place. All right. Here's the gal pal in the giant chair. You know, we love a good souvenir photo. Let's see. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Work it. Oh my gosh. So we're going to go inside. This guy's looking at us all crazy. <laughs> and enjoy. Are you okay? Hey. These boots are giving me Lambert's vibes. Look how cool. They are, kind of runs the middle of the restaurant with like old school vibes with the fireplace. And here we are. Here is a look at the menu. They just added some new items. Our wonderful server just updated us. They've got crawfish empanadas. I saw them on the website and they looked delicious. We did order the cheese curds with marinara because we just love a good, anything with cheese. 
They have uh, spinach dip and garlic rosemary mushrooms. You don't see those in many places. And then of course they have their own merch, which is super fun. I totally got distracted by this shirt that says no worries. That is totally my vibe. I'll have to check to see if it's out front. And then they've got um, some lunch specials on the weekdays. It is the weekday, but it's lunch options. Um, you know I love a good red beans and rice. She talked about um, one of their, the pork shank that they have. We'll get to in just a minute. Burgers, I'm leaning towards the comeback burger. Because um, the Gulf Coast gal was talking about burgers earlier. They have a ton of sandwiches. Salads. The cilantro lime looks delicious. Let's go on entrees over here. Barbecue shrimp and grits. Anything she mentioned, she talked about the grits, which was pretty exciting. Pants your redfish is one of her favorites. I always like to ask the server what they enjoy because they're here day in and day out. They get to see it all. Um, pork shank is new, which she mentioned that people are going um, nuts over. It's corn and cheese grits. Oh my gosh, corn and cheese, y'all know. I remember the last time I had corn in my grits. Well, it is corn, but like, I don't know. The Gulf Coast gal bell just said, it's like grits, but cornier. This is, this is why we're friends, y'all. Okay, back to the menu. Steak medallions also look delicious, Kelly. I was looking at those. Mm -hmm. See, your girl knows. The po' boy shop is now open next door. We're not, we're not here for that right now. They also have pasta dishes. This feels fancy, but also like hometown. Garlic, rosemary, and mushrooms you can get as a side. Mac and cheese, Mexican street corn salad, potato salad, baked potatoes, brown butter mashed potatoes. They do live music weekly, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights from 8 p.m. We'll be busy with music of our own. And they also have a menu for the kiddos. They also have dessert, y'all. We were looking at that. I think we're going appetizer, entree, and dessert because we're really doing this for y'all. Um, I don't know what to get though. I'm leaning towards a comeback burger. Um, maybe we'll do halfsies if she's down for it. I haven't talked to her. She just saw something else that caught her eye, but we're gonna dive into the menu, order, and then show you this really cool thing that they've got on their table that I've never seen before. And it's pretty rad. I don't our, know what Georgia Blue means, but I love it. Maybe it's like a re restaurant line, like our oh, half shell. Yeah, I think so, probably. Oh. Okay, so they have a touchless menu, which is pretty great. People love those nowadays with the QR code, but it's actually on a Mississippi license plate. So it's like a molded license plate, like bent in half to be a stand. That would be really cool as a recipe card holder or something like that. I, I really, really love that. So I'm so excited. Look at these fancy plates. Okay. And Kelly can make them. You have to visit her. Where are we visiting Kelly at to get all of her plates? Gulfport Art Center in downtown Gulfport, Mississippi. You can check out all of her works of art um, at the Gulfport Art Center. It's right down the road from the Mississippi Aquarium, right off of 25th Avenue slash Highway 49. I was joking with someone the other day talking about how um, it's funny that Highway 49, or excuse me, um, that Peach Boulevard slash Highway 90 slash Bienville Boulevard is its name different as you go through the cities and Highway 49 is no um, different. We're gonna dive into this. I like a good chunky marinara on that. You definitely got a little chunk going on. All right, we're going for this guy. Like a cheese curd, a little bit more bouncy than a mozzarella stick. <laughs> that makes sense. Super good though, pretty flavorful. Um, when we complement each other well, you really can't go wrong with melty cheese and marinara in any capacity. But we're gonna enjoy each other's company and um, wait for the entrees and then desserts. Okay, uh, Gulf Coast Gal is so amazing, she waited on me to eat. The food has arrived. This is the burger, the comeback burger. Look at those onions and the comeback sauce. Looks so good. And then the medallions. We're like being super nice and fighting each other on who's not gonna get the last one. And then mashed potatoes. 
Mashed potatoes. Rosemary. Um, look at that piece of rosemary. rosemary. Garlic mushrooms. Garlic mushrooms. So good. I'm so ready. Are you hungry? Let's dive in. She's got her fork. <laughs> the weirdest angle to it. All right, we are diving in. That love their French fry size. They're pretty, pretty spectacular. Mm -hmm. This burger. We're gonna cut it in half. There's pickles and it's got fried onions, but it has more bonus onions underneath. Extra on. I'd like a side of onions with my onions. Okay, we're gonna look at a cross section because we love, oh my gosh. We love a good cross section. Look at that. It's a big bite. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that happen. Is it good? She's happy with the steak. She says buttery. This is so many onions. Okay. The tomatoes, yummy. The lettuce. Those pickles. I don't know what kind of pickles they are. And I didn't even ask for extra pickles. They just showed up. Like, how do they know? So the adorable waitress said that this is like a sister restaurant to a place called Georgia Blues. And they've got quite a few different restaurants. But Georgia Blues, so I guess the father had two daughters. One of them's name was Georgia. And he like gifted her, or made her a restaurant and her favorite color was blue. Well, the other one, Jenna, Gina, Jenna, <laughs> Jenna um, was like upset that she was left out. So hence Jenna Benna. I thought that was a cute little story. It's like perfect for a hometown restaurant like this. So we're on the main level on the front side, but we're on the second level on the back side because it's a hill. The further north you go in Mississippi, more hills, <laughs> slopes. And we, um, the back side, there's like a, a speakeasy prohibition style bar in the back um, that you can get to. And I kind of got to see a little bit of their courtyard area, which is really cool. Oh no, we're trading plates. Can put this back on here. <laughs> There's one curd left, if I can see it. A lone curd. <laughs> trading plates, we're going, going over there. Okay, I'm excited. Don't me, I'm see, I'm not a mushroom fan, but I'm not, I think I'm gonna try it. I tried one, I can at least say I tried one. I know. I'm gonna try the teeniest I one. All the people. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> there was like 12 pickles on my side. I get a half a pickle for her. It's okay. That's a sorry hashtag. Not sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one of mushrooms. That's love. I'm not even mad at you. It's like a, like a bread and butter pickle. It's not quite deli, it's not sweet. It's like bread and butter. I've never had mushrooms like that. They're not bad. As someone who doesn't eat a lot of mushrooms, it's not bad at all. Okay, going in. I can see. Are there corn? Is there corn in? Is these grits or potatoes? Potatoes. They might just be random. Okay. Okay, potatoes. Not bad. Not salty. I've been instructed I'm eating potatoes wrong. She said get some of the steak juice. Real garlicky. But like a little bit, maybe of the rosemary. Kelly knows what she's talking about, y'all. 
petite falaise. A little more well, but it sat there for a little while. Pretty okay. Like she said, the glaze is the star. We were joking about how we really want dessert, but we don't know if we can, like, we have the room for it. And we were wondering how long they were open for, if they were going to be open after the show. But they're not going to be. And she was like, Two, can they do it to go? And then I was thinking about smuggling it in my see-through purse. Ma'am, do you have a creme brulee in your purse? Yeah, we would like to share and be open to it. This is super weird because I'm usually the one driving, but Kelly's driving, thank goodness. We are headed from Jenna Benes. <laughs> I always want to say Gina Bina. <laughs> uh, we are headed from Jenna Benes. Um, wanted to do a recap on the dinner, headed to the amphitheater. It's just six minutes away, just right down the other way. Um, we got to see a bunch of little small mom and pop shops too, which is really cool. There's a place called Mocha Magic, which is like a coffee shop. Um, there was burgers, blues, and barbecues. There was a bunch of other fun stuff. The cleaners, Pizza Co. The cleaners, um, by Pizza Shack, yeah. Pizza Shack. Pens, looks like a catfish on the sign. There's a catfish on the sign. They probably serve catfish inside. Um, I really enjoyed Jenna Benes. It was almost upscale. It really reminded me of the Rack House, but just like a little bit more country flair. If the Rack House and like Logan's would had a baby like that's yep. what are you what were your thoughts kelly while uh, you're driving I was safely thinking, i was getting like mom and pop version of cracker barrel okay but like slightly upscale with like okay. maybe a little bit of like half shell or rack house mm -hmm. yeah so definitely the same kind of sentiments there um the burger was delicious it was cooked perfectly i was gonna order a lot more not a lot more i was gonna order some more comeback sauce that goes on top of it it didn't need it it was perfectly juicy and I, I haven't had that from a burger. At the light, turn left onto Marquette Road. We're turning left at this light. Thank you, Siri, for oh, getting us where we need to go. Road. Marquette. Marquette. Oof. Okay, um, unfortunately I did have all of the pickles on my side of the burger. Did not do that intentionally. In 1.2 miles, turn right onto Boyce Thompson Drive. You're gonna turn by the auto zone. <laughs> to uh, to get down to the amphitheater. I can't even see it from the interstate. I didn't spot it didn't when we were coming in. It seemed like a large venue. The sunset's gorgeous. Does this turn out to be a cool weekend? Weekend, weekday? Week Excursion. Okay. Cars over here. Pretty cool. Park here? Let's try it out. People are walking. So I don't Maybe. think there's gonna be uh, any availability. Somebody told me that it's gonna be really busy getting out and so a lot of people try to park farther away further. to have easier access yeah that's all blocked off it looks like okay. we're, go we're learning learning curve learning experience <clears throat> look at the sunset gorgeous love it beautiful Okay, so there is parking right up front by the amphitheater. Um, what Kelly mentioned that she heard was a lot of people park further away so they could walk to their car and get out faster because the capacity is quite large. I'm gonna see before the end of the night if we um, can get what that capacity actually is. Um, it didn't, when I looked at tickets earlier today, it looked like there were still quite a few available, but there's quite a bit of people walking in. So I'm excited. Uh, I haven't been to an amphitheater except for like, a show at Disney. Ever have you been to, been to? I have. I have been to some amphitheaters oh, before, but not in a long time. Not in a long time. Way back in my Ohio days. Parma Lee is playing right now, and you can kind of hear them. So cool. I want to go to Red Rock. Yes. Is that like Colorado? Yes. That's on my list for amphitheaters. We're gonna get front row parking, all. Princess parking. Come on. No. Oh, you want front row? Say it. No, I was just suggesting it. I saw I was sending it. On this end I was sending it to the the gods, the parking gods. Oh yeah, this is. 
I mean, we're we're staying the night right down the road, so you're, I'm not really worried about getting out early. We're in eight minutes away. Like, what are you in the hurry for? Then you can, like, hit up the merch table afterwards. Mm -hmm. You well, can I get a like snack. Maybe for people who are, like, driving, like, in from Hattiesburg or in mm -hmm. from out of town or something just for tonight's wanna concert, come, it would make more sense because they want to, like, get out early and go home. But we're not doing that. We took the B&B route. I also heard a lot of locals like to come early and tailgate. So maybe that's what they've like parked off premises a little bit further away to kind of tailgate. I but I might have to repark a little bit. Well, it's okay. This is a safe space. Oh, no, I think it's fine. We're gonna find out. All right, security was pretty seamless. They have a line for bags right over here and the line for no bags on the left. And then the box office is over there. They do take Ticketmaster. It was a Ticketmaster ticket, but we are here. So excited. I'm gonna go take a look over maybe on this side to get kind of a better, better view. All right, here's a look. So exciting. Hello. Typical Thursday night, drive three hours, stay the night, go to a concert in a place you've never been. Um, that's what life's always, that's what it's about, right? So when you come in, you can go down the stairs on the left, depending on where your seats are. Um, there's merch, I'll show you that. And then there's also uh, restrooms and snack bars and all kinds of good stuff. Beer booths. I'm not used to frayed shorts. I thought something was on me. Um, I'll show you what the stairs look like. They're pretty rad. And then merch is gonna be right over here. And then restrooms, there's a line for beer and we're gonna head over to seats. Or do you need to go to the restroom first? I mean, I just went to the bathroom. I probably need to use the restroom. Well, let's go now. Or do you want merch? Yeah. Well, do you want to do that before things get busy? Let's pee, merch, and seats. See, this girl, after my own heart. Okay, we got some swag. I really love that sweatshirt, but I ended up getting this one because I went to it with my soul sister. I love it. And then they had some other goodies too. So we're going to go ahead over to our seats. Restroom, check. Merch, check. Now, seats. Is this Parmalee still? I think so. They're pretty like a wide variety. Yeah, like colors. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, we made it. You guys are the words of this song. Please all about y'all. There's Parmalee. So excited. Just a couple rows from the front. Take my hand.
offended. My <laughs> my voice is not gonna last long by any means. We were going a little crazy, but it was a phenomenal show. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If you see them on a listing coming near you, go see it. They are just as good, if not better, than any of their records, any of their CDs, any of their music online. Um, highly recommend it. There's just so much more that you get from a show like this. A lot of people aren't as good, I'd yeah. say, live. They, yeah. they put them a little bit more in the performance, but they were phenomenal. There's surprises and exciting things and all of the songs that you know and love, even some new ones. It's really cool to see the variety of the audience, but also like how their songs have aged, aged but also like they've been around for so long they had you know we, we just did drops of jupiter that was like the finale thank gosh and then one of their new songs that's on the radio right now that's yeah. tens of decades yeah. it's really spectacular um everybody's leaving mass exodus and here we are where where our seats were there's like just a few rows and the stage it's pretty stellar we got some swag and uh, we're going to go try to find our way like salmon upstream and uh, go sit in the car for a little bit while the traffic situation happens. At some of their menu options, they have tons of food options, hot dogs, chicken fingers, pizzas, coffee, Gatorade, beer. And then there's like a whole cocktail menu over here as well. Um, cat head vodka, all kinds of different beer, soft drinks, energy drinks a poncho because it is an outdoor amphitheater and you never know when that South Mississippi weather is gonna get you. Weather tonight was pretty spectacular. It was a little a little hot, but the humidity wasn't as bad as it has been. Um, on the coast, we got some torrential downpours on our way here. Um, right before we were about to leave, like the bottom dropped out and it was pretty nuts. So we were a little worried. Kelly was like, I got my umbrella, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. I expected to be like drenched, soaking wet, color a different t-shirt than I came with, and not too bad. I'm pretty good. It's, it's mostly still yellow. Yeah, I'm still yellow. Wearing our, our shorts, our jorts. And now we're going to trek up the stairs. They're gorgeous. So it makes it a little less torturous. Um, and head to the car. Hey y'all, it is quite some time later, but I want to check in with you and do our classic outro, right? I had an amazing time on our little day trip to Brandon. Our Airbnb was so comfy um, and so cozy and our hosts were so welcoming. I highly recommend you go check them out the next time you're up in that area. And then of course, um, our dinner at Jenna Benna's. I cannot wait to dine there again. There were so many other options that I was looking at on the menu that I was wanting to try. Just we didn't have enough time and my stomach was not big enough. That's for sure. And then of course, um, dessert. We didn't even get to get dessert. So I'm gonna have to definitely come back, maybe try the sister restaurant and also the, um, the dessert and all the other other options. And they might also have that t-shirt that I was looking at too. So it'd be a win-win all around. And then I thoroughly enjoyed our experience at the Brandon Amphitheater. It was huge. The weather was perfect that night. I've already been scrolling their social media pages to see what might be coming up that I can also enjoy. Um, but I haven't seen anything quite yet. It is a good drive. I think it's about three or so hours away from the coast. So you're gonna wanna definitely plan accordingly. That's why we did choose to stay in an Airbnb and it definitely was the best choice for us um, in that time being. Train was phenomenal, like I mentioned uh, in the, the concert wrap up. But I totally appreciate y'all following along this journey. I know it's not specifically coast oriented, but anytime I go on a journey, um, especially in the state of Mississippi, I want to take y'all along. We have so much to offer here in this state and um, along the coast, and I appreciate y'all coming along. All right, y'all, that's it for me, Gulf Coast Gal. Please consider liking and subscribing to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on more activities attractions, and fun adventures like our trip to the Brandon Amphitheater you can only find here on the Gulf Coast Gal YouTube channel.